So as you may have guessed from the intro, there's a lot of walking in this vlog um, because I've been trying to get back into an exercise routine that involves running. I do a lot of work on the mat, low yoga and pilates, but um, I haven't done proper cardio for I don't know how long. Apart from a small run every now and then, not much. Honestly speaking, sometimes I'm like, okay, I need to get out of my pyjama now. Otherwise, it's gonna be dark again. I've come up with a little routine. <laughs> and I thought I'd make this vlog about how I'm trying to keep things moving, keep my body moving, keep my head healthy as a result. Um, so yeah. Come along. But hang on, you might not know me yet, so here's a short intro. I'm Mella, a 40-something who was made redundant earlier this year. So you're catching me at a bit of a weird time whilst I'm still figuring things out. Capturing my journey on this channel helps me to process everything and might be helpful for viewers who also find themselves in a period of change. If that is you, I invite you to keep watching. If you've been here before, welcome back. So it's actually been really rainy here. Um, this may not come as a surprise because it's November, so you may think, Mel, come on. But it's actually a danger of flooding because the river is so high because of all the rain we've had. So that's how bad it's been. What I'm trying to say is that um, it's been raining so much that it's been hard to go outside unless you want to be in a full rain gear. And that's not very enjoyable, is it? It also made me realize how much I need to go outside because you can get into your tunnel quite easily. If it doesn't actually get light during the day and also the days are so short now. So come 4.30 it's dark and um, it does affect my mental state. I, um, I know I'm not the only one, but um, I've realized that I want to do something about it or I want to try and make it easier for me. So what I've started doing to trick my mind into thinking um, that I'm very active, <laughs> I've set myself the goal to walk more than 10,000 steps for three days a week at least. Um, uh, and I've actually, I haven't done too bad this week. Um, the, these two here, they are actually the 10,000 steps mark. So Sunday I did... 16,000. Wednesday and Friday I did about seven and a half, eight thousand steps, which is fair enough. I don't. The other thing that I really hate is letting an app stress me. No, it's not gonna happen. Um, I've worked for an app provider. It's not gonna happen. Um, but it's a nice sort of uh, benchmark to look at. And on top of that, I actually have to do one proper run. Um, this is only like a short sort of 20-30 minute uh, recovery run. I'm not sure what I'm recovering from but that's what, I, what they call it right. So yeah short run but to actually get me pumping a little bit um, and then I'm gonna up the ante on that as soon as I see fit. I have been known to run half marathons so I know what I'm capable of but I also know that I tend to overestimate myself and I've had quite a bit of trouble with my shoulder um, joint here and um, also kind of dizziness, ear, everything. This is why I've been to the doctor so I don't want to... I want to be gentle. It's the time of the year to be gentle with yourself but within reason. And then um, as the kind of third element of it all, I do bar um, classes online. With, like, If you've been following me for a while, you've seen footage of it because I always record it to check my own posture. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. 
Figured out that fate is not up there, that it's inside of me. Act with execution, what's the plan with zero action? Faced with bad habits, knowing it's a magnet to my imbalance. I'm somewhere between confidence and arrogance. The middle ground is treacherous, I work on getting out of it. Pops is looking down, I feel him every time the sun shines. Back to being unsigned. This uh, bar classes, Dave honestly been such a lifeline for me during the pandemic um, because I used to train with my teacher in back in London so more than over 10 years ago and um, we basically found each other again during the pandemic and uh, not only was it great to have access to her again we also went through this whole like as a little group we went through this whole like how we're gonna set this up like hey, you've got AirPods. Oh, I'm gonna get AirPods, you know, like what's the best setup to do an online class together? So it's kind of brought us together and um, up until today, and uh, especially in this kind of weird time right now, it's like a bit of a, yeah, like a lifeline. It's something that mentally calms me um, to know I have these uh, classes in my diary and to chat to the girls. Um, I was actually lucky enough to go uh, to France this last summer um, on a on a retreat and it was the first time we basically saw each other again since I don't know we were in our 20s. I'm gonna insert a little bit of footage here uh, from back in August, September, don't remember. It's nice to have these little pillars um, to keep me going. Creating slots to exercise is just as important to establishing a routine as my little side projects that I was talking about in my last vlog. I do tend to stay up late and sleep in at the moment, so it's important to me to still have a sense of achievement at the end of these short and dark winter days. I hope this video could portray a few ideas and approaches on how to keep your body moving and your mind healthy during a time of uncertainty and unrest. It can be hard not to let things overwhelm you, especially when it gets dark so early and days are short and grey. Even though it sounds like a cliché, getting out of the house always makes me feel better, calmer and more at ease with the situation. I guess it just helps me realize that life goes on. There are people laughing out there and chatting, exercising and going on about life and it makes me feel part of it again too. So. I've just looked at all the footage and thought I'd record an outro from one of my walks uh, in the hope that you can hear me because it's really windy. I hope these little videos add some sort of value to your day as well. They certainly do to mine. If you do find it helpful, do give it a like or subscribe to the channel. It will help the algorithm to recognize its value and push it out to more people that might find it interesting or helpful or entertaining. Um, thanks again for coming along. I will see you in the next one.